We start with that breaking news then. And the RMT union has announced that it suspended a series of strikes that threatened to bring much of the rail network to a halt after receiving a new pay offer. So industrial action that was supposed to begin tomorrow and also take place on Monday and Wednesday has been called off with union bosses saying they're entering intensive talks with employers as part of a dispute about pay and conditions. So the RMT's uh, General Secretary, Mick Lynch, said that the threat of strike action and our strongly supported industrial campaign has made the rail employers see sense. He goes on to say, we have always wanted to secure a negotiated settlement and that is what we will continue to push for in this next phase of intensive talks. He says, our priority is our members and we're working towards securing a deal on job security, a decent pay rise and good working conditions. Our reballot remains live and if we have to take strike action during the next six months to secure a deal, we will. Well, uh, Tim Shoveler's Network Rail's chief negotiator said um, that it's welcomed the news and that the RMT has called off its strikes and uh, the very late notice means that services for tomorrow cannot be reinstated and will remain extremely limited. And while we and our train company partners will work without pools over the weekend, there will be limited ability to change the strike timetable for Monday. Our advice remains to please check travel before you head out and that remains on Saturday and Monday and uh, only travel by rail if absolutely necessary. He says we look forward to getting back round the table with all of our trade unions early next week to see if the progress made this week can be built on and uh, a resolution found. So, uh, yeah, still limited uh, services for travellers next week.